A wedding is such a wonderful occasion filled with hopes, dreams, and excitement. We're here today to celebrate the love that Clay and Rebecca have for each other and to recognize and witness their decision to journey forward in their lives as marriage partners. May your love create a safe haven for you both on the journey that lies ahead of you. Lead with your hearts and take the time to do the simple things that will nurture your love. Deeply listen to each other. Deeply listen to each other. To your dreams and to your frustrations. I said it twice for a reason. Be helpmates. Be playful and find new ways to give your love to each other every single day. Rebecca's so good at this. She scares Clay. It's my favorite. Let your love be an inspiration to others to reach for what is good within us all. Be those role models. Those watching. May your love be so abundant that you have plenty to share with the rest of us as well. Because there's people that love you. We need you. We love you. It is your love that has brought us together here. May it grow deeper and sweeter with each passing year. I have never had someone support and love me the way that you do. Which brings me to my vows. To love, support you with the same passion and intensity that you have for the rest of our lives. I had no other expectations but to meet a new friend that day. Definitely not to meet this striking ginger man in front of me. <laughs> Over the next few months, we grew an undeniable friendship, which later turned into something I never thought would be possible. Not only did you check everything off the list, but you surpassed that list by a mile. You are by far the hardest working man I have ever met, and I believe has ever existed on the planet. There's not a day gone by you don't come home bloody, bruised, and sore, and you never complain about it. You can fix anything, which is great because I need a lot of things fixed. <laughs> you are loved and respected throughout our community and beyond. You have the most fantastic smile I've ever seen in my life and the cutest smile I've ever seen when you try and lie to me. <laughs> You are the best cat dad. Even though you swear you hate cats, he loves cats. <laughs> you are a cowboy. On top of that, you can give an IV injection, which is really helpful. <laughs> you taught me how to tie a goat. You taught me how to wake surf. You have supported me in every harebrained idea I've ever had, which we all know is a lot. But most of all, you show up. You support me at every race. I always thought some marriage was something that tied you down, but you actually hold me up. You are my biggest supporter and my number one fan. You push me to be better every single day. You are man enough to say words that most men will not say. Go out with your friends. Enter that barrel race. Buy that horse. <laughs> Book those plane tickets. My favorite. <laughs> I realize you live your life for me, and in turn I live my life for you. I promise I will support you, even when you turn into Cliff when you're working. <laughs> I promise I will help run equipment and run the guy's lunch, even if it's 45 miles away. I promise to always nag you about the unhealthy food you eat while cooking you healthy food for dinner. I promise to keep your horse legged up so you can rope whenever you want. But most of all, I promise to love you and take care of you every single day for the rest of your life. Today, as I marry your dad, it means not only do I get a bonus kid, but you get a bonus mom. As your bonus mom, I promise to be a steadfast supporter of you and your endeavors, as well as being your biggest advocate and confidant. Don't tell your secrets. I promise I will always tell you the truth. I will protect you. But most of all, I will show you how to pick yourself up and dust yourself off if ever you were to fall. 
So you will be a formidable force in life. And the three of us together will be like the three musketeers, strong and unstoppable. I promise we can always torture your dad with horror movies, Disneyland, taking off work for random adventures, and of course, cats. With that being said, do you think I should still marry this guy? Maybe. <laughs> Think so? Okay. Do you claim to take Rebecca to be your partner in life? Do you promise to walk by her side forever? To love, help, encourage her in all she does? Do you promise to take the time to talk to her, to listen to her? Do you promise to take the time to talk to her and listen to her and to care for her? Will you share her laughter and her tears as her partner, lover, and best friend? Do you take her as your lawfully wedded wife for now and forevermore? I will. I didn't know Will or do. I do. Do you, Rebecca, take Clay to be your partner for life? Do you promise to walk by his side forever, to love, help, and encourage him in all he does? Do you promise to take the time to talk to him, to listen to him, to care for him? Don't need to say it twice in this one. Will you share his laughter and his tears as his partner, lover, and very best friend? It's hard for me to say. Do you take him as your lawfully wedded husband for now and forevermore. I do. Clay and Rebecca, by the power of SME of the state of California and the Holy Christian Church, I now pronounce you man and wife. Like Milo and Otis, Rebecca's a stray cat and Clay's just a mangy dog, but they fit. <laughs> they found one another and needed things to make, or needed the one thing to make this thing work. That's belief. They believe in each other, and now they believe in each other as one. We officially welcome you to our tribe as one. Let's raise our glasses, because they're on the same team. That was good, huh? Right. So, I know my dad got married, but at least I have a stepmom that actually cares about me. Aww. And that we at least get to go to Disneyland. <laughs> Thank you, Welcome. That's why we didn't want kids in this damn thing.